Accounting Cycle Step Number 8 Closing Journal Entries are Journalized and Posted So tapos na tayo sa Accounting Cycle Step 7 Magpo-proceed na tayo sa Step 8 A temporary account is said to be closed when an entry is made such that its balance becomes zero. Closing simply transfers the balance of one account to another account. Okay. At the end of each year, the balances of temporary accounts or yung mga income, expense, and withdrawal accounts are transferred to the capital account. Okay. So, yung mga subject sa closing journal entries ay yung mga temporary accounts lang. So, yung mga temporary accounts, ito yung mga accounts na income, expense, and withdrawals. So, at the end of accounting period, yung mga temporary accounts, yung mga income accounts, expense accounts, and withdrawal accounts is gagawa natin siya ng closing journal entries. And sabi, closing simply means transferring the balance of one account to another account. So, ibig sabihin lang nun, yung balances ng mga temporary accounts, or in other words, yung mga balances ng income, ng expense, and withdrawal, pagdating ng, ng end of accounting period, is ililipat natin lahat yan sa capital account. Kung i-illustrate natin siya, true figure, ganito yung magiging flow niya. Okay, so income expense, withdrawals, eto yung mga temporary accounts. Temporary accounts ay subject sa closing journal entries. And yung mga accounts other than income, expense, and withdrawals, yun naman yung mga accounts na nagpo-fall under permanent accounts. And mga, ang mga permanent accounts is hindi siya subject sa closing journal entries. Only income, expense, and withdrawals lang. And sabi nga kanina, at the end of accounting period, yung mga balances ng temporary accounts is ililipat sa capital. Okay, so yung income and expense, iko-close natin siya, lalagawa natin siya ng closing journal entries, and lahat, ng income and expense is magneneto siya sa account na income summary. And once na nagneto siya sa income summary account, iko-close naman natin itong income summary account sa capital account. And yung withdrawals naman, ang withdrawals naman, so unlike siya ng, eh, ng income and expense, na dumadaan pa muna sa income summary. Ang withdrawals naman is direkta na sa capital account. Ito yung mga balances na galing dun sa accounting cycle step number 7. And ito yung mga revenue account. Ito naman yung mga expense account. So, yan ay mga temporary accounts means subject siya sa closing entries. So, closing entries, ililipat natin tong lahat ng to, yung mga balances nila, sa capital account. And accordingly, ang steps ng preparation ng closing entries ay una, close the following accounts to income summary. Number one, yung income accounts and expense accounts. So, example ng income accounts, so ito na, meron na dito, consulting revenues, referral revenues, ano pa, fees earned, service revenue, service income, sales, yon income account din yun, sales, ano pa ba, interest income, royalty income, dividend income, so lahat ng income accounts is 
close to income summary. Next is yung expense accounts naman. So, lahat ng expense accounts naman is close natin sa income summary. After ng closing ng income and expense account, yung susunod na step is close income summary to capital account. And last step, close withdrawals to capital account. Okay, first step, close income accounts. Sabi kanina sa, def, sa discussion ng closing entries, a temporary account is said to be closed when an entity is made such that its balance becomes zero. Okay, so ibig sabihin lang nun, gagawa tayo ng journal entry wherein pag pinost natin sa account, yung balance ng account ay magiging zero. So, dito, para maging zero itong consulting revenue na to, na may credit balance na 67,700 pesos, para siya ay mag zero, kailangan nating maglagay dito ng same amount, 67,700 para siya may mag zero out. So since naglagay nag kailangan mong maglagay ng 67,700 sa debit side. Therefore, yung closing entry natin is debit con sulting revenues at what amount? 67,700 pesos. So may credit na dito na 67,700 may debit ka dito consulting revenue 67,700 din ang amount therefore magsisiro ang kanyang balance kapag pinost na natin itong journal entry na to and yung credit niya ang sabi sa step close the income accounts to income summary so credit income Summary 67,700 pesos Okay Tapos na ang closing entry ng consulting revenue Next Referral revenues So, ganun din So, kung yan ay may credit balance na 4,000 Para i-close natin yan Para mag-close yung account na yan, kailangan natin gumawa ng closing entry na may debit na referral <coughs> revenues, 4,000 pesos. And credit, income sa Marie, 4,000 pesos. Usually, nakikita nyo tong closing entries na to in a compound entry. But, Dito sa discussion natin, ipapakita namin sa inyo ito uh, on account basis. Dahil nga, since na ito ay for beginners guide, makikita nyo yung reason kung bakit compound entry or kung bakit gano'n ang pagkakapresent ng closing entries in a compound entry form. Papakita natin isa-isa yung closing entries ng bawat revenue accounts and bawat expense account. Next step, close the expense accounts to income summary. Okay. So, expense account naman tayo. Lagyan na natin dito. To close expense accounts. Okay. Una, salaries expense. So, ang salaries expense, meron siyang adjusted balance na 15,600 pesos. And para mag-close yung salaries expense account na yan, para siya ay maging zero, kailangan nating maglagay ng credit na 15,600 para mag-close 
itong expense account na salaries expense. So, since naglagay tayo ng credit dyan, or kailangan maglagay ng credit para mag-close itong salaries expense, therefore, yung closing entry natin for expense account na ito would involve credit salaries expense na 15,600 pesos. And ang sabi sa step, close to income summary. So, ang debit natin is income summary account. 15,600. So, pag pinost natin itong journal entry na to dito sa salaries expense, salaries, ba salaries expense balance ay zero. Next, utilities expense, adjusted balance niya ay 4,400. So, debit, income, summary, 4,400. Credit, utilities, expense, 4,400. And yung procedure would be the same pagdating sa rent expense, insurance expense, at sa lahat ng expense accounts. Meaning, ang magiging entry natin to close the expense accounts would be debit to income summary and credit the appropriate expense account. Okay, so nagawa na natin yung closing entries ng income accounts and closing entries ng expense accounts. Ngayon, itong entries ng closing ng income accounts, pwede natin niyang gawing compound entry. Sa mga hindi familiar, ang compound entry is yun yung pagsasama ng dalawang journal entry or two or more journal entries para maging isang journal entry lang. So, para mag-compound entry, itong closing ng income accounts, the entry would be debit, the revenue accounts, all the revenue accounts, and credit the income summary account for the total revenue. And, Para naman ma-compound entry yung lahat ng closing entries ng expense account, we would simply lang na credit ang lahat ng expense accounts. Credit. And, de-debit natin yung income summary account. And itong income and expense accounts na to is ito yung mga nag-appear sa income statement. So, balikan natin yung income statement. Ayan. Okay. To close income accounts, so, pansin natin, yung total credit ng income summary sa closing ng income accounts is equal doon sa total revenue na na-arrive natin during preparation ng income statement. And, Yung total income summary naman or yung debit balance ng income summary in closing the expense accounts is equal naman siya doon sa total expense na na-compute natin during preparation ng income statement. Meron pa bang um, pwedeng i-compound entry dito? Mako-compound entry pa ba natin itong dalawang ito? Pwede pa. Pwede pang in-compound entry. Okay. Para gawing compound entry itong closing ng income accounts and closing ng expense accounts, ang compound entry niya would be like this. Ayan. Usually, ang closing entries is pinapresent sa atin on a compound entry basis. 
meaning yung closing ng income and expense accounts is isang closing entry na lang siya. And eto, eto yung magiging closing entry natin kung gagamit tayo ng compound entry basis. So debit all the revenue accounts, all income accounts and credit all expense accounts. Then, yung balancing figure ng dalawang yan would be credit sa income summary na 35,000 pesos. May credit na 71,700 dito kanina. May debit dito ng 36,700. Therefore, kapag pinag-offset natin yung dalawang yan, net credit of 35,000 pesos. And Kung babalikan natin yung income statement na ginawa natin sa accounting cycle step 6, financial statements, yung profit na 35,000 is yun din yung balancing figure ng closing ng income and expense accounts. So, ibig sabihin lang nun, kapag nag-close tayo ng income and expense accounts and Kapag ang income summary ay nakakredit, meaning mas malaki yung total debits sa total credits, credit income summary, meaning ang result ng operations ng entity or ng business ay profit. Okay. Ngayon naman, paano kapag yung income summary naman, let's say nag, meron kayong closing entries na ginawa, Closing ng income and expense accounts. And, ang balancing figure is debit naman na income summary. Ang income summary, pwede siyang credit, pwede siyang debit. Kapag credit siya, kagaya na ito, 35,000 credit, meaning, ang operations ay profit. Pag debit, ibig sabihin nun, loss ang operations ng entity. Mas malaki ang expense compared sa revenue.